Hey YouTube fans, people of the interwebs, it's me, Selvish so G1, back for another Transformers review. Yes, I'm still waiting for my Lakiran vessel and my Enterprise C uh, Probe design, but they're on the way, so um, when I get them, I shall Star Trek like crazy. Anyway, we're on to this review. So, we're going to be doing, as per the title page, this fella, Titans Return, Alpha Trion, and um, Sovereign as well. There he is. Um, so I'm going to do a little bit of BG. I'm going to have to read it at the back of the box because um, TFU.info doesn't have anything yet. So we should do it. Here's a look at the box. I don't usually do it, but I'm going to start doing it, I think. Look at the box. Very nice. Love the artwork of Alpha Trion. That's lovely. It's on the side there. That's really cool, actually. Um, the Autobots unite with Titan Master Partners to power up for battle. The Autobot Sovereign carries energy of Primus, the creator, giving Alpha Trion unknown and immeasurable power. And then he says that in about five languages, so he just helps Alpha Trion carry the shopping home, I guess. <clears throat> so, I'll tell you what, we'll have a look at Sovereign Flest. Flest? First, and there he is. Um, really nice, nice. I like the colour scheme. The purple, the sort of, uh, is it, I want to say brick red, I think, uh, and the grey for his legs. Uh, it's standard Titan Master Fair. His arms will go up, his legs will go like that, and he can sit down um, like a boss. And uh, we're going to do that now. Um, so basically, we've got Alpha Trion in spaceship mode. I want to say. Um, Hang on, what does the instructions say? Put them away. Ah, oh, fuck it. Um, can't be asked to look. Uh, what does the box say? Um, doesn't fucking say. No. Um, I will have to say this is the weakest of the modes. Um, but it is a spaceship, I guess. And you got a nice little landing gear there, um, which is quite nice. And that just folds away to the side like so, which is quite nice. And then. You can either sit Alpha Trion or any Titan Master really in this gun and he can fire rockets off like a boss. Or you can put him in this command section at the back um, and he can sit in there quite nicely. And he can fly the spaceship. It's got a, like a like a Voltron lion head going on at the back there. Yeah, I have to say, I mean I do like spaceships, as everybody knows. <clears throat> this is the weakest of the modes. It just kind of you know, I think it was last minute kind of jobby. Um, just throwing in, what can we do? Oh, make him a spaceship as well. Um, so, it's not too bad. I quite like it, though. So, to transform it, uh, we'll get rid of Sovereign. We'll put him out there. For the run. Oh, yeah. He does come with this sword, and you can... There are several... There's two ports on each side, so you can have it on, on any side you like. Um, and it will fit there quite nicely. And it doesn't look too bad, actually, on the side. It'd be nice to have another one on this side. Um, so, I'm see if I can get a spare one from somewhere. Anyway, it's a really, in fact, you know what? We'll have a look at the sword while we've got it in our hand. It's really nice. I love the purple hill and all this going on. It's really cool. And like a uh, like translucent orange, but, but where they've got all this detail in it, and when you move it, it, it the light just catches it. I don't think you're going to see it on camera very well. Uh, oh, there we go. It just catches it all. It's really, really nice. I like it. So, uh, we'll take him to robot mode. Uh, no, we'll take him to his beast mode. He's got a beast mode. So we'll take that off there for the moment. Now, I've only bought this yesterday from Tesco, £8.75. So if you can get down to your local Tesco and they've got any left, fucking jump on this bastard. Right, now, I'm just remembering how to do it. So like I say, I've only had it since yesterday and I didn't really play with it last night because I got in from where it late. Um, right, what are we going to do? Right, I'll, I'll do his back legs first because I know how to do them. So basically what we do is we separate this section out the back there. And we rotate this down like so, and this down like so. And then, how are we doing it? How are we doing it? And we rotate them inwards like that. Rotate that back and put it on the back there, like so. And then we reach under here. And then we rotate his little, little nice little beast legs out. And they rotate all the way around. Um, and, then we rot and then we do the same for this side. Rotate that out. And then we rotate this entire section... Do we? No. We disconnect it. That's it. And then we rotate his legs down like so. Um, I think we did done fuck up somewhere. No, no, we had no. That's fine, yeah. Um, and then we rotate that back in. So we're into there. Oh, wait a minute. Before we do that, we rotate this section and we rotate it all the way up like so. Yeah, that's right. 
then we get this section and we rotate that round like so and same for this side rotate that round which reveals the animal head and just fit it together um, it's got a really nice sort of lion face going on there it's pretty cool rotate these legs out like so and then we rotate it all in like that close that down and that should more or less lock into place nothing clicks it does lock into place it just but it's kind of friction it just kind of sits there then we get this section and that there's just a little part there we were resting in in robot mode in in but spaceship mode and we rotate that in there so it just fills out the underside a little bit so i mean it just doesn't want to fit in very good there we go. then we lift that section up at the back and it's got like a little notch built into there and then you get his sword and it's got this little uh, corresponding uh, protrusion and then we just it just sort of frictions in and i can do it uh, come on now There we go, just frictions in like that. And that becomes his tail. And look at that. He's a really nice sort of robot lion. Very nice, very nice. I like the colours, I like the grey, I like the pe the sort of the brick red, the um the purple, and the sort of translucent orange. It just it just really nice, really cool. Articulation is very much like a G1 at this mode. His legs will wiggle backwards a little bit. Um you can move his toes and his arms forwards like that and he can wiggle his toes and he can rotate at the wrist as well which is quite nice and then sovereign again you can put in uh, this little section at the top here and you can drive him in in beast mode that's a really nice beast mode actually i really do like it it's very g1 it's very primitive but it kind of works for alpha trion being you know the first transformer so to speak one of the original 13 it kind of works uh, the tail just kind of just sits there, really. it doesn't really do anything. You can lift it up a bit, but then it sort of destroys the illusion somewhat. Um, that's why you put that bit in the back, so you can fire missiles out of his ass. Because <laughs> why not? But it's really, really nice, really cool. I like it. It's got some really nice moulded detail in there. You know, you've got all these panels here. Um, really nice moulded detail. Love the mane it's got. It's really cool. Um, and you've got some moulded detail in here, but that's more for the, the, the spaceship mode. So, we shall take him to um, a robot mode. So, we'll take um, Sovereign out of there, and we'll transform him to robot mode. Standard Titan Master affair. Quite easy, quite easy, quite easy. Legs over his head. And we've got a nice little bounce. And it's very nice. So, we'll just put him down there for the moment. So, we'll take that off. We'll take this off as well. Now, again... You're going to have to bear with me because, like I said, I've only had it since yesterday, so... All right, yeah. Move them up like that. Move that up like that into there. Move this section round like so and like uh, so. Um, and then what are we doing? What are we doing? I'll close that up. Then we... Uh, oh, yeah. That sort of concertina, concertina's up and then concertina's back down. But before you do that, you get these paws and you rotate them up like that same for this side so we're in there we are so we're in that kind of position let me rotate that in and this should click into place but it kind of doesn't there we are and then we get this section off his back here and we just split it down the middle and then we're on these double kind of double joints there so you want to rotate them out rotate that out as well back in and then back out again so you sort of like i'll do it again for this side so we're in there, so we rotate it out, and then you rotate this back all the way and in there like that, so we're now left here. And then we take his hands out, because his hands act like his teeth, which is quite nice. And then we rotate that like that, rotate his hand round. Same for this side, rotate, 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 and rotate his hand again. Then we get this section, that just fits on his back, like so. And we're left with this. And then Sovereign just fits on like so and then we are in robot mode and then you press this little button here this little round thing and boom he has devil horns up here like the shopkeeper she ugh, like the shopkeeper as if by magic so um 
and then we can give him his gun, which is quite a nice gun, and then you can have a Titan Master sitting there if you want. And then you can give him his rather nice sword, and look at him, boys and girls, he is beautiful, isn't he? I love this guy, I didn't think I would. I mean, I'd seen pictures, and I'd seen it, you know, in, in various shops and that, and I'm like, yeah, yeah, I don't want to pay 30 quid for it. And, um... Like I said, Tesco had it at my eight fifty, and I just went. You know what? For eight fifty, I can eight seventy five. Sorry, I can I can jump on this bad boy, and and I'm glad I did really because he's really cool. Right, in terms of articulation, he can rotate at the shoulder with no problems. He can rotate at oh, drop his gun. He can rotate at the elbow. He can bend the elbow quite nicely. He can rotate at the wrist. No waist articulation. He can head can move side to side, but it's hindered by this big contraption that holds the, these in. His legs will move, well, his waist will move if you don't, if you, you don't want, but you don't want that. His legs will move out, move in, move forward, but they're really stiff, and I don't want to break it. And they move back, and he will bend at the knee, and he can bend at the toes, but that's more for transformation than anything else. And uh, this little um, loin cloth moves up and down. But you know what? He's really cool. Um, he's definitely worth a punt for eight seventy-five. I tell you. Um, how they managed to make this into broadside, I don't know, but they did. <laughs> but yeah, that's that's me. Um, that's uh, um, Alpha Trion, an Autobot um, Sovereign, as he's called. And um, so, hope you liked this re this review. Please like, share, and subscribe, and hit me. At and hit that notification. I can't speak today. I'll start again. Please like, share, and subscribe to this video, and uh, to subscribe to my channel. Hit that notification bell to tell you when I've got new content out. And please give this uh, video a massive thumbs up. Smash that like button. Um, it would mean a lot. And again, it means a lot um, that everybody, my 477 subscribers at this point, um, it means a lot. Each and every one of you means something. Um, the fact that you you sit down and listen to me raff waffle on about spaceships and robots um, and um, yeah I will be sorting out a Patreon or a coffee or something in the near future when um, YouTube just tells me to fuck off um, so yeah uh, I'll be sorting that out and I will get it sorted and there'll be links and that when, it, when it's all sorted out so yes thank you very much and I'll catch you all later bye for now